The castle was built approximately in the first part of the 13th century, but archaeological finds suggest that the area around Buchlau Castle was settled in the oldest periods of civilization. The first form of the castle had a similar ground plan as buildings of that era. It was created by two massive prismatic towers situated on the opposite parts of the rocky plateau. A high palace on the southern part of the yard was built at the same time and it was surrounded by a wall. The castle was in permanent possession of the crown until the 16th century at the beginning by Czech Royal House of Luxembourg, later on by Polish House of Jagello, ruling over the Czech lands in those days. During this period of time, it was often given in pawn to aristocratic clans in the country. Nobles of Simberg owned it at the end of the 15th century. At that time, a representative chivalric hall was built. In the year 1511 the castle was given to a private holder and from the 16th to 18th century various Moravian clans changed its ownership. The most important were nobles of Žerotín, Zastrizl and Petrvald. Constructional work continued in Renaissance style and some parts of the castle were added in Baroque. However, in 1701 the Buchlau castle was finished and in 1751 the owners, the Berchtold noble family, occupied it for more than two centuries. In 1701 the Berchtold family moved to a nearby chateau in the Buchlovice village and later on, thanks to Leopold Berchtold, who was foreign minister of Austria-Hungary at the beginning of the World War I, a family museum was built in the castle. Leopold was buried at St. Berber's Chapel at Buchlau after his death in November 1942. St. Barbara's Chapel came into existence in the 13th century and it was used as a funeral crypt for holders of the manor of Buchlau. Pilgrimage divine services are held to this date. In 1945, after the end of World War II, the castle was confiscated on the basis of Benesh decrees and became property of Czechoslovak state. Later it was added to the list of national cultural monuments. Nowadays it is open to public and many cultural programs are held each year.